Hey guys, welcome. This is the Clear English Corner, and I'm Keenan, your personal American English pronunciation coach. In this lesson, we're talking about the zh consonant sound. This sound is pretty rare in English, meaning it's not in a lot of words. So if it's difficult for you, you might be thinking, why bother? But here's the thing, a lot of words that have this sound are really common. And if you're not pronouncing the zh sound correctly in these words, it's definitely noticeable and sometimes can make some words sound like completely different words. So you wanna make sure you've got this sound right. So first, I'm gonna share some tips with you on how to make the zh sound. And then we're gonna practice 30 very common zh words in words and sentences. So first, how to make the zh sound. A lot of times when a sound is tricky for you, it's helpful to compare it to the sound you're currently making or substituting for the target sound. So with the zh consonant, there's three really common substitutions. First, you might be making the sh, sh sound instead of the zh. The good news is these sounds are very, very similar. They're sister sounds or cognates, which means they use the exact same mouth position. And the difference between these sounds is that one is voiced, zh, the zh is voiced, and the sh is unvoiced. So if you can make the sh sound, all you need to do is activate your voice or get your vocal cords involved to make this sound. You wanna go from the shh, which is voiceless, meaning quiet air just passing through the vocal tract, to turning on your voice. Let your vocal cords vibrate. You can hear it here in the throat. And then you're moving from the shh to the zh sound. Let's try it again. Shh, voiceless, shh. Now let's turn on the voice. Zh, zh. Good. You wanna make sure you're saying vision, not vision. Hear the difference there? It's Asia, not Asia. Another really common substitution, you might be making the j. J as in joke or jelly sound instead of the zh. Again, good news, these two sounds are really close. The j as in joke is actually a combination of the d, d consonant, the d consonant, and the zh that we're targeting. The difference is for the j sound, the tip of the tongue is rising up and touching the roof of the mouth, just like if you make a D sound. Da, 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 ja, ja, ja. Can you feel the tip of the tongue touching the roof of the mouth? You wanna just make sure that there's no connection between the tongue and the roof of the mouth as you make the zh sound. So try this, you can j, j, Zh, and just hold the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Zh, 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 zh. So you want to make sure that version and virgin sound different. Two really different words, right? Just make sure that the tip of the tongue is away from the roof of the mouth. You want just a little bit of distance there to keep the air flowing between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. Okay, the third really common substitution is to do the s, s consonant instead of the j. You can also move from the s into the j by slightly adjusting the position of your tongue. So when you say the s, S consonant, the tip of the tongue is right behind those top front teeth, kind of pointing towards the alveolar ridge. S, s. All right, for the z sound, you want to pull the tip of the tongue back just a bit. S, s. Here's what's happening inside. I know you can't see it, but the tip of the tongue is pulling back just a bit. S, s. 
And then the lips, I'm pulling in the sides of the lips and they're flaring out just a bit. Shh. There I went from the S consonant to the SH. If that's a tricky one for you, that might be a good trick. So in order to get to the Z, we're gonna just add that voicing, okay? Let's put it all together. Moving from the S to the Z. Nice, now once you've got that zh sound, you wanna just practice that sound by itself. Zh, zh, zh. You know, maybe spend a day just doing a few zhs here and there throughout the day. Then you wanna to try to move it, play with it a little bit, add some vowel sounds. Zh, 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 zh. As soon as you feel comfortable that you can consistently make this sound, you wanna start moving it into words and putting those words into sentences. So now let's practice 30 super common must know words that have our Z consonant sound. Here we go. Decision, decision. We need to make a decision. We need to make a decision. Our decision is final. Our decision is final. Television, television. He watches way too much television. He watches way too much television. You can't trust everything you see on television. You can't trust everything you see on television. Measure, measure. We use this spreadsheet to measure progress. We use this spreadsheet to measure progress. For good measure, we made a little extra. For good measure, we made a little extra. Version, version. Is this the latest version? Is this the latest version? He tells a different version of events. He tells a different version of events. Vision, vision. My vision is horrible. My vision is horrible. I have a vision of how we can make this work. I have a vision of how we can make this work. Conclusion. Conclusion. In conclusion. In conclusion. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions. Division. Division. She works in a different division. She works in a different division. That seems like a fair division of duties. That seems like a fair division of duties. Pleasure. Pleasure. It's been a pleasure to meet you. It's been a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure, my pleasure. Unusual, unusual. These are unusual circumstances. These are unusual circumstances. That's unusual, that's unusual. Visual, visual. I'm a visual learner, I'm a visual learner. Let's create a visual to make it more clear. Let's create a visual to make it more clear. Exposure, exposure. Too much exposure to the sun is bad for your skin. Too much exposure to the sun is bad for your skin. Exposure to lead can be harmful. Exposure to lead can be harmful. Occasion, occasion. What's the occasion? What's the occasion? I only see him occasionally. I only see him occasionally. Usual, usual. As usual, he's running a bit behind. As usual, he's running a bit behind. Let's meet at the usual spot. Let's meet at the usual spot. Provision, provision. The provision of quality childcare can be a challenge. The provision of quality childcare can be a challenge. He made no provision for his retirement. He made no provision for his retirement. Explosion, explosion. There was a sudden explosion of interest. There was a sudden explosion of interest. 30 people were injured in the explosion. 30 people were injured in the explosion. Invasion, invasion. It's an invasion of privacy. It's an invasion of privacy. 
It's a full-scale military invasion. It's a full-scale military invasion. Confusion. Confusion. There was a lot of confusion after the announcement. There was a lot of confusion after the announcement. Sorry for the confusion. Sorry for the confusion. Casual. Casual. It's a very casual atmosphere. It's a very casual atmosphere. She has a really casual attitude about it. She has a really casual attitude about it. Treasure. Treasure. Knowledge is treasure. Knowledge is treasure. I'll treasure this moment forever. I'll treasure this moment forever. Illusion. Illusion. She's under the illusion that she already has the job. She's under the illusion that she already has the job. Mirrors can give the illusion of more space. Mirrors can give the illusion of more space. Envision. Envision. What do you envision for the future? What do you envision for the future? How do you envision this working? How do you envision this working? Conversion. Conversion. The office is undergoing a complete conversion. The office is undergoing a complete conversion. What's the conversion rate? What's the conversion rate? Massage. Massage. Can you massage my back? Can you massage my back? She went for a massage. She went for a massage. Closure. Closure. I need to get some closure on this. I need to get some closure on this. You can check the website for updates on school closures. You can check the website for updates on school closures. Aversion. Aversion. She finally overcame her aversion to water. She finally overcame her aversion to water. I have an aversion to Brussels sprouts. I have an aversion to Brussels sprouts. Leisure. Leisure. I don't have a lot of leisure time. I don't have a lot of leisure time. Just get to it in your leisure. Just get to it in your leisure. Collision. Collision. It was a head-on collision. It was a head-on collision. The collision occurred near the hospital. The collision occurred near the hospital. Seizure. Seizure. He suffers from seizures. He suffers from seizures. These assets are exempt from seizure. These assets are exempt from seizure. Composure. Composure. You really kept your composure. You really kept your composure. He completely lost his composure. He completely lost his composure. Supervision. Supervision. They need constant supervision. They need constant supervision. Responsibilities include staff supervision. Responsibilities include staff supervision. So there you have it. 30 common words that include our zh consonant sound. Be sure to visit the Clear English Corner website for a list of practice words and sentences used in this lesson. That's all for now. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.